get your ass knocked down. What you wanna do? Get ready. What you wanna do? Six months. Let's go. Yeah. We ain't playing going down. Going down. We gon' hit him with the left. Hit him with the right. We gon' hit him with the left. Hit him. Mohammed, you just got done training, and that was a really good spire. He was probably one of them. Minnesota's best yeah. boxes. How do you feel about this? Oh, yeah, I mean, I feel really great. You know what I'm saying? I've uh, been training, you know, uh, for four weeks. Uh, I, be, I just got inspired with Javan, one of the best, you know, fighters uh, in the state. Um, uh, you know, I, I feel good. My body feels good, and, you know, I'm ready to go. So, obviously, you're fighting for the state title right now. What does that mean? What would a win mean to you? Um, a win will put me definitely winning uh, the state championship. Definitely, it's gonna put me, you know, up there in the in the, in the rankings. You know, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. That's right, that's right, that's right. So you know, you're, you're the African assassin all the way from Uganda. Yes, sir. You have a really good, you know, track record of. Uh, Yes, sir. What does uh, what do you have to say to African people, the Ugandan people that are all, all over the world, especially the ones that are in Minnesota now that the fight's coming up? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to call out everyone. You know, I want to call out the Ugandan community, you know, African community, and everyone who knows me or who is fan of boxing to come support me January 22nd and other fighters. It's gonna be a great card. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, good fighters on the card, you know, and uh, I'm fighting the main event. Um, so come out one, come out all, you know, for the sport. Folks, this is what we call a workout. I mean, this guy, he's really trying to get ready for this fight. Putting in that sweat, putting in that blood. And we're over here watching it all happen, man. I mean, Black is over here helping us out with the, with the cha-chas. <laughs> So, what better way to do this, man? I mean, we get unprecedented access to watching this guy get ready for probably one of the biggest fight of his entire life. And then we also have comedians <laughs> like Black. But for those that don't know who Black is, Black is one of the best, most prolific upcoming artists right now. And he's over here showing some love and showing support his own way, the Black Fuego way. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is crazy. And then we obviously got Philip out there. He's about to help him with aspiring. And if I get some time, maybe if they give me an opportunity, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm going to try to get in there, you know, and work it out and see what I can do. 
But yeah, this is the GRS show. Like we say, we are here to showcase talent, people that are coming up, people that are trying to do something. If you're out there, once again, I'm your host, Linkage Breeze. We want to hear from you. We want to bring out things like this. We want to show the world what you got. But right now, though, let's watch this guy. Talking tough, not being hard Matter of fact, ain't another crew that's seeing us We ain't never given up Said you can't forget them up You've been talking like you tough Hope you're ready to breathe in, breathe out Get, get knocked out Step in, step out Cause it's like sound Ain't nobody afraid of you You can talk loud if you want to I wish I could take these gloves off and stomp you right now helping him get the gloves on and then we got Philip who's also you know a really prolific fighter he's about to help him you know get some sparring in get some training in trying to get him ready you know so yeah this guy is really putting in some time man he is definitely conditioning himself Two to three times a day, two to three times a day, this guy's conditioning himself, you know, and getting this kind of unprecedented access to, you know, to watch him train is just amazing. Now 
you know. One hit, hit and it gone. I'ma make a mac a hole. Soon as I step through the door. Soon as I step through the door, you know I get the thing poppin'. Got them bouncing off the wall, acting a fool. It ain't no stopping, dropping. Heat up on the door, you tryin' to DJ slut it down. I keep the crowd moving, screaming, show me where your hands at. Shake some, work some, yeah. Come on, break some, work some, yeah. See, I'm the type of player that'll show them where to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, listen, then they come to me and push your poly and go. Find me that, even though it's this. Well, don't let them know they body back. Don't let them know they body back. As you guys can see, I'm getting a front row. Front row seat. Watching this guy really get the training in unprecedented access. Just amazing. Footwork, you know, the hand coordination, everything is just crazy. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at the footwork. I mean, this guy has been conditioning himself, conditioning himself, trying to get ready for this fight. So, Mohammed, how do you feel about this? I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling great. I can't wait. You know, just excited to be in this position. You know, uh, the final moment, you know, uh, in my career. So, so just waiting, Jonathan, second. Come out. Yeah. Put my heart out. Yeah. And, uh, End of the fight. I'm gonna have this time with you, man. That's, that's pretty awesome, man. You know, you know, and, and I've watched you. You know, you've obviously given us unprecedented, you know, access to your training. You know, we've seen how hard you've been putting in time. You know, we just want to, I just want to let you know on a personal level, man. You know, I really want to, you know, I, I can't wait for that fight because I think, I think it's going to be a great fight. You know, I think you're ready, and obviously it's gonna be a, you know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hard fight for you, but, you know, I, I think you're gonna do well. You know, we wish you all the best, man. You know, and we, we've been talking about this, you know, for for, for a little bit now. Um, I, I just, I just want to kind of walk, you know, just just you know, just so our people can see what's going on, to understand where Muhammad you know, where the African assassin is coming from to get to where you are now. You know what I mean? Um, from, from what I understand, you, you, you know, you're a former Commonwealth, you know, you've had a title before that, you know. Can you, can you tell us something a little bit about, a little bit about your career and, you know, and how you've gotten to where you are right now? Uh, wow. 
It's been a long time, man. You know, but um, I made this side of track in Uganda. Uh, I when I was abducted. Uh, when I was rescued by any other day, you know, the current, um, the current, you know, government in power right now, you know, rescued me and uh, also rescued, uh, you know, uh, my family was this, you know, this place, so I didn't know where they are, you know what I mean? So, the only thing which really kept me going was back, man. Uh, I started back when I was nine years and, uh, you know, uh, you know, I moved up, you know, in ladders, in ranks, ranks, you know, in NHS, uh, you know, I, I got to National Open, uh, which is the carpet, just where, you know, the kick, uh, you know, the cream, you know, uh, people who present the country. So yeah. I was only, seven, I was 16 actually, you know, and uh, they had to make me wait until I was 18. But in order for you to get that opportunity. Yeah, guys, uh, in the international games, they couldn't allow, you know, uh, anybody who is under 18 to yeah. be 18 under bar. So I represented my country, Uganda, in amateurs. That was uh, Eastern Central Southern African Championship. Mm -hmm. They were in uh, Fisheries. I won a bronze medal, that was my first outing, you know, for the, you know. That was your very first break, yeah. You know, uh, outing, but after that, uh, nobody ever beat me, man, you know. Uh, I went, you know, Commonwealth, World Games, Commonwealth, I won a silver medal, and that was my defense moment, you know, to say that, you know, I'm done with amateurs. So then you, you, you basically, when you won your silver, you know, you know, your silver at the Commonwealth, that's when you turned pro. That's when I turned pro. Okay. But I had uh, 269 amateur fights. I had uh, like nine losses. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so I turned pro. Uh, my first pro. The was in 2003, uh, I knocked out the guy in the second round, uh, and you know, since then, I mean, you know... You've been climbing. I've been climbing, you know, but, uh, of course, my boxing career, I've been having injuries, you know, time to time, so right. they've been, uh, you know, holding me back, as, you know, for the injuries, I get like a one-year break, not fighting. Breaking hands, give me a year or two. Like, so you can come back, get ready, and come back. Yeah, you know, fresh and healed up. You know, uh, I won, I won a World Boxing Federation uh, belt in 2009 uh, over a kid from a kid from Britain, and then I broke my hand. Then I had to take a two years break off, you so know, you can you know heal and all that heal, you know all that came back 2003 you know wow yeah so then five pounds here there here there and i promote myself uh I yeah have, i understand you don't you don't even have a manager you don't manager, you know all promotion is you know, you know is uh, all by yourself and you know the people that are willing to help you and all that yes, stuff yes sir yeah yes sir but uh, I mean, I'm going through this fight. I feel good. Um, I'm fresh. I don't have any injuries, you know. Uh, like, you know, there's times where I'm going to fight. Like my fight when I fought uh, Lawson. Uh, that was a big fight for yeah, you. Yeah, I had a Rotera Car fight. Uh, I saw it like four days to the fight. You know, wow. and, uh, I couldn't pull out, you know what I mean? And, I mean you had to go through with as it. As fighters, you know, you learn how to fight with injury, with pain, you know? Yes. Uh, so I didn't pull out, I went to the fight, you know, uh, I gave it all, I gave my heart, and, uh, you know, we came out, you know, we got the W, but I still, you know, never stopped me, you know, keeps coming back, man. And, yeah, yeah, I'm playing for the Minnesota Boxing State Championship. And, and I think, I think, I think, honestly, that's probably one of the most, um, you know, interesting things about this fight is that 
you know, you've obviously walked us through a little bit of your history as a boxer, all the way from the amateurs, and then you turned pro. And then, you know, you ha you've had quite, you know, a couple of big fights. With the last one fight that was, I understand, was at the Myth. That yeah. was a really big fight, you know. And now you're you're being presented with yet another really defining moment in your in your in your boxing career, you know. And I, and that's why, honestly, I just want to say, you know, we're we're grateful that you've been able to bring, you know, to let us come in and really watch you and see what you're doing. And we're happy that we're able to share this story because I feel like. You know, even though I know you're on a personal level, but you know, just for the people out there, we we want to bring our stories like your story. We want to let people know, not just in Minnesota right here, but we want to let people know all you know all around the world that there's people out here that are putting in the work. There's people out here that people need to get to hear about. You know, and you you, in my opinion, you you're one of those people. You know, so I, I keep going back and saying we wish you all the best. We you know. We hope that you win. We want to see you win. I think you're conditioned for it, you know. And we're we're gonna be there, obviously, to watch the game. Yes, we're gonna be there to, you know, to hopefully record part of that game. We're gonna be there to talk to you after the fight, you know. And uh, we we cannot wait to see how this fight is gonna turn out, you know. Yes, Mohammed, for those guys, by the way, you know, can, can you can you, you know, I, I know I know we're friends, I know all that, but you know. Can you can you give, give me a couple of you know pointers? Point. Yeah, give me a couple. So so for example, let's say you know let's say if I you know, this guy is gonna give us a couple pointers right now, I'm gonna learn how to fight in less than two minutes. Two minutes. Less than two minutes. So let let give me give me a couple pointers. If 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 we were fighting, how yeah. would you want me to stand? So that's that's perfect stance right there. Okay. That's perfect stance. Okay. For example, right? Okay. You know, if I, I come, I come, you stretch there. Okay. You just what do I right do? I... Hand. Yeah, you just stay right, stay right hand. Like, right hand like that? Right hand yeah. My face. Yeah. Just so, throw your right hand in my face like there. Oh, yeah, okay. Man, so, right? so I do that yeah. and then bam. Yeah, you block it, there, bam. bam. Right there. Woo! Right there. Okay, bam. okay. Bam. I, 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 I could do yeah. this. Yeah. I, I yeah. could yeah. do yeah. this, guys. Yeah. Okay. That, that's a good one there. Okay, sure. now, the another one. Don't do that. Two years. Okay, so the one you grab your butt like that. No, 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 no. That's inside. That's inside. You know, like that. That's inside. That's inside. That's inside. That's inside. That's inside. That's inside. Just keep it up, and just go here. Oh, like that? Yeah, look. Oh, do I? Yeah, yeah. Lift it up. Oh, I can play yeah. that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, here, here. Play. Play. Why did you tell me? You go down. Play. You know, play this. Yeah. Play this. Why did you tell me? You know, play this. 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 Play the African assassin Muhammad Pale with himself. I just got a few pointers. I feel like I can fight. I think I can fight. No, you can. 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 Hey guys, this is the GIA show. This is Naked Joe Host. Thank you for watching. This has been a very special feature of this show. Bringing you the one and only Mohamed Pango. For those that don't know about this brother, do some research on this guy. He's got a big fight coming up in January 22nd. It's gonna be a Hinkley Grand Casino. If you got, unless, actually, if you got something to do, that's okay. Just come out and support this guy. Ugandans, Minnesotans, anybody, Kenyans, Africans, English, I don't care who you are. Let's go support this guy. Let's go support Bob. Sir, sir, I really appreciate it, you know, for your time coming out, you know, covering my training, being here on my training, supporting me in my training. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'm just calling out to everyone. Everyone, everyone who knows me, who doesn't know me, Ugandans, Africans, you know what I mean, fun of boxing. You guys, everybody, come on, it's gonna be a great card. We're gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, great guys in the car. Joe Williams, Hell Saints, everybody's gonna be in the car. Be there, January 22nd, I better win. Bring him on. Thanks, guys.
guys have going that this is see you next time